What's up guys, it's Chris. I was recording a three meta builds video that will be going up tomorrow and I ran into this squad. They definitely put up a good fight and were somehow really efficient on the gens even with multiple people just running around to hook but we fought till the end. Sadly though, in the end, this team was ridiculously salty and I wanted to share this with you guys. Let's get right into it. Haddonfield! This build actually has two of my favorite Vecna add-ons. Uh, I actually use both of these for my Vecna win streak, which we got in the 60s. I can't remember exactly where we ended, but yeah, that was a 4K hatch streak we got in the 60s using these two add-ons. This whole build's phenomenal as well, so let's just see if we can get into a chase with somebody early on. And I think we found something. Here we go. Is this sprint burst? Of course. We can't be gaming without exhaustion. Oh, wow. Yemen, that one right away. Okay, this building's a lot less safe now. Nothing guarding her there. Already used her exhaustion as well. Gonna be a lot weaker here. Let's get that. There we go. Freebie hit. And I'll catch up with the fly. Probably be able to take advantage of our skulls. I see that info on gearhead to our right there. Uh, on that gen. Also somebody right above here. I'm gonna send the skulls now. So she has to crouch. She can't actually hit the fast vault in time. Wow. Oh, it's the buffed vaults, dude. I'm so sorry. I'm used to vaults being kind of like fair, where they don't just give you a free get out of jail free card for your space bar. It has been a little bit uh, since I've had to see that kind of stuff, but. What? Oh, I'm sorry. Take that free down on the Yui, and somebody else was right here. Don't know who. Looks like our Sable, probably another sprint burst. Yep. We got all the get out of jail free cards here, it looks like. And she did use a toolbox on the gen, I think. Dang, so four people just sitting around. Looks like, yep, all of them just in the area. No idea he'd just be sitting around doing nothing there. Um, no exhaustion to worry about from this one. Uh, I'm gonna pretend I'm pulling my mage hand. Wow, not expecting them to just yam stuff right away, but they do seem pretty new. They're playing it very safe. He must have crouched behind that truck right away, I'm thinking. Let us taste There we go. Uh, could always go for a nice little mage hand play there. Nothing you can really do about that. A lot of pressure robbed off that flashlight. Sucks that he was just crouching around, kind of vibing. Uh, actually here, I think we can send our skeletons early and get a nice little hit this way. I don't think she can possibly crouch that with that little change in elevation. Mage hand not quite up yet, and we know she's down to slam some pals with that little brain dead toolbox. Can I make that? Yes, we do. Uh, I'm not sure if we get a pain res in time. Felix might just be able to finish that gen before I can. But I'm definitely going to do my best to get over there. No, he healed up. That's awesome. Uh, problem is now he can just take a hit and I get robbed yet again because our score chooks are placed so poorly. But he's not here. Very nice. Very, very nice. Yeah, that'll be a pain res there. Uh, I think I heard somebody on the House of Pain gen. And I also see our healthy Felix more than happy to take a hit from him that way we have one less person who could just go for the save for free room embrace gonna be blocking up all the gens and that should be our nia i would much rather go for the sprinty burst toolbox fellow though yeah this is just a much better use of our time ah this guy looks super easy and we get a pain raise out of it huh Uh, no haste here, but skeletons will definitely get us that hit. And this will be pain res and Grim Embrace number two, meaning massive slowdown to the gens here. And we'll probably be able to find that Yui and the Felix hiding in the main building, healing. There you go. Yeah, there they are. They're definitely over this way, just not sure exactly where. There we go. Perfect sphere. Look at that. Excellent. Her sprint burst is already up. Obviously a very brain dead perk. Just hold the shift key and you're getting bailed out hard. Much rather go for this one again. Uh, let's just push this way and then double back. Oh god. She's just running to yellow. Yep. This guy does not have much going on in that mine besides see yellow, drop yellow. Fair enough. That's kind of the state of DVD. You can't afford to do that a lot of the time, especially 
with how overpowered these toolboxes actually are. But I would like to prevent that from happening if we can. That's a nice little down. Obviously, you don't have to worry about a dead hard with that sprint burst. Just hold shift to win. There you go, buddy. Getting a lot of value out of our slowdown, though. Uh, could get a little bit more gearhead, but again, um, it's mostly after we get finished with the chase that's going to be getting real value on Vecna. And I believe we should have at least two over in this direction that we're finishing this gen. There's no way that should have been done that quickly. Yep, two of them. And that means that is our UE. Having this guy dead is actually would actually be a really smart play. Um, they have, like, no gen progress on anything else right now. And uh, then they can't obviously go for save with everybody injured. It's pretty much impossible. Nia and Yui not quite doing anything yet, so I'll just gladly wait and see what we can do. As long as no reassurance pops, this should be a total vibe. Felix is close enough now that I can kind of sit here. I wish to Yeah, him getting close enough to the hook to allow me to do that was actually a really bad call. Wow, this ship was just zeroed. It's already complete with one person on it. Isn't that sickening? That's dead by daylight for you. That is sickening. One person on it. And this person wasn't even on it from the beginning. Just topped on it recently. Nice little pain risk coming up, though, which will help out a little bit. Very nice. And she's not going to be our final Groom Embrace, so we actually get some aura reading off it once we uh, hook the uh, Nia, I believe. I believe it was Nia. Oh, he's on it. Pain res DMS, though. Very nice. Uh, wow, there that Nia was running around the hook the entire time. That gen was zeroed, and she finished that gen already. Is that not insane? I mean, dude, behavior has just made Survivor so god mode. You don't have to be even decent at this roll to just get the gens done anymore. It's so sad. I wish they would bring some of the skill back to the roll. Because it's not really the survivor's fault at all that behavior just heart panders this badly, but God, it's terrible for the game. At this point, I pretty much just realized there was no way we were going to be able to come back from this. They just had too much really, really strong stuff. So I was just focusing, trying to see what I could do. I figured we'd end up re-recording because I just didn't go into the game like turbo sweating, which I probably should have looking back. I'll do that in the next uh, video you guys see tomorrow with the three meta builds. This build I'll definitely sweat it up with. I'd already recorded one game where we uh, crushed them, but... I wanted to make sure that I was talking about the value from the perks more. Dude, Survivor is so broken. <laughs> Holy shit. It is so insane if you're squatted up with friends in this game. I mean, one toolbox just makes it so you could blast gens no matter how badly you're playing. It really doesn't matter. But uh, I, I definitely could have played better this match. Don't get me wrong. But man, playing against all that exhaustion and the gen speed and stuff is just criminal. I still stand by the belief that resilience absolutely should not give any gen speed. Being rewarded that heavily for simply being injured is pretty insane. Like, if, if the killer got rewarded by being able to move 5% faster for a gen popping, uh, that would be pretty insane. Like, permanently, I mean, that would be ridiculous, so... I don't think doing your objective poorly should reward you that much, in my opinion. <laughs> Either way, I'm going to let this game wrap up for you guys. We do start uh, pulling it back a little bit here. We, we pull off a little bit more than you're probably expecting, which is awesome. And I was pretty happy with it. Didn't quite pull off a win in my book. My win is 4K Hatch. Uh, nobody out through the gates, but it was good enough. I thought they played really well, and I wasn't sweating enough to uh, match it at the start. So we got punished for it. And as you can see here, towards the end, I was just trying to make sure we could get as much as we could. Obviously, there's no gens to defend in the end game, so I'm going to see if I can get some more kills out of it. And we absolutely do. I think I played this as about as well as I could have. Definitely don't want to take the hit on the Nia there with their sprint burst. Don't know what they have. The Felix did end up having hope, so not committing to him was a really good idea. 
take a peek around this pout, and what do you know? We still get our Nia waiting. I think her sprint burst must have been close. I don't know what she was doing walking around that pout that way. Use the skeletons for the zoning, and boom. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Okay, so we just played this insane game. Uh, against these players i was just trying to play to win you know having a good time they freaked out I, I thought i was being pretty chill about this you know gg will played legends forever such an insane role that gen speed's wild then he said depressed i love it i s apologized for because i did proxy camp throughout that game a little bit he said four gen perks you're a loser irl and in this game Bro, no one had gen perks. I mean, they had the most broken tool, but I think this saves 20 full seconds off of a gen. It's so broken. But um, plus resilience and stuff like that on uh, multiple people. Um, you have 5k hours. Are you okay? I just mean the fact two people can run around aimlessly and still blast those. It's crazy. Do you not play Survivor? I do. And Survivor is an extremely autopilot role. You have no friends. No female has ever touched you. This guy's name is Mikey Bear, talking about no female has ever touched me. That's insane. That's pretty insane. Can play it half asleep. I was talking about Survivor. Uh, you can. You can play Survivor half asleep. I play Killer and don't. I'm not sure what he was typing here, but Tunnel, I use no gem perks. What does that mean? And so I pointed out they swift and maul because they die in the most broken pvp role to exist probably outside of like evil dead the game's survivors but still at least i don't camp and i play spirit and i have friends um i don't i don't know what that has to do with anything uh, he plays spirit and has friends i had to point out you mauled because you lose in the most broken pvp role in any game anyway i have friends and you don't so i said you have i have line friends i have people that actually that would hang out with me and uh he, he left the lobby i don't know that seemed like a bit of an overreaction from them i would say and i think this is just another case of like classic entitled survivors uh they feel entitled to a win because behaviors basically said here you go little timmy we'll will pander to all your needs and everything you cry about on Twitter. So if they end up losing, especially with how insanely powerful the role is at this moment, they get really upset and it hurts their ego, I think. They know that the game was built for them to win, and yet when they can't win, they have to blame somebody or lash out in some way, which I think is a terrible thing, but I'm pretty sure that's where it's coming from. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to hit that subscribe button. We got tons of videos on the way, three Meta Vecna builds tomorrow, and I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Thank you.